Deploying its VeltKit website to AWS is quite straightforward, regardless of whether that website uses the API functionalities from SvelteKit. So in this video, I'm going to take you through a few steps that can allow you to take your SvelteKit website and deploy it to AWS. That's it. Let's jump in and start with the website that we're going to deploy to AWS. Now I've created a website using the default SvelteKit template. And if you take a close look at this, what the only difference here is that I have this API endpoint, which lives in the route folder. So if you expand the route folder and open the API folder, you should find the server.ts file. And this is just a very simple API endpoint that's going to help us prove that when you deploy this website to AWS, the API should still be working fine. And before we actually start talking about deploying this website, Let's test that this API works locally. So I'm going to go to the URL and add slash API to the endpoint and hit enter. And you can see that we'll get the same response we're sending from this server in the browser. And this is a proof that this API is working locally. So when we end up taking it to AWS, we should still expect to have the same response when we visit this particular URL. All right, now the next step is to configure the AWS Amplify adapter. And this adapter, is responsible for creating an output that is going to match whatever the deployment environment is expecting. We can install this adapter by running npm install amplify adapter. And once the installation is complete, we can head to the config file, import this adapter, basically replace the existing adapter with the one we've just installed. And we don't need to configure it because it's already configured when we call the adapter function. Now, once we've done this configuration, the next step is to push this project to GitHub so we can get it ready for deployment. And to push it to GitHub, all you need to do is provide a commit message. So let's say adapter added, then we can commit and push this to GitHub. Brilliant. Now, the next step is to take the project that we've just pushed to GitHub and deploy it to AWS using AWS Amplify. So to do that, Go to your AWS console and search for AWS Amplify. When you find it, open it. Then click the new app drop down and choose host web app. Select GitHub since we pushed our project to GitHub, but you can use any of these providers. Click continue. And select the repository we pushed to. Leave the branch as main, then click next. Now, on this page, I'm going to do two things. The first one is to click the build settings and make a few changes here. The first change we need to make here is to add the post build commands. And then secondly, I need to change the base directory from this to build since that's what WordKit uses. Then we can save. And the second change we need to make is to tell Amplify that we need to use the Amazon Linux 2023 image for this build. And we can do that by providing the custom image environmental variable and setting it to Amazon Linux 2023. Now, once we've done all of this, we can then go ahead and click next to continue. And then finally, we can click save and deploy to deploy this project. Now, this is going to take a few seconds. So I'm going to jump out and then jump back in once this once this deployment is successful and we can take a look at the production URL and see if everything is working as we had expected. All right, it looks like our deployment is successful. So let's jump in and take a look at what we have on the screen. Now, for starters, we've, we can see that Amplify is letting us know that it was able to provision, build and deploy this project. But what's interesting here is that we have a production URL, which we can click to test our website. And it looks like everything is working and we can check out these pages to confirm that all of our server rendering features are working perfectly and even this uh, Svedel app is also working. But if you go back to the homepage and change the URL to slash API, you should also see that we have the API endpoint sending a response back to us, which you can see on the screen, which shows that not just have we deployed a Svelte app, we've deployed a Svelte kit website that uses SSR. And thirdly, we've deployed a Svelte kit website that uses an API endpoint. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. And by the way, if you have any question 
don't forget to leave those questions questions in the comments and if I'm me or someone from the team will meet you halfway and answer those questions thank you for watching bye